able to invite uh, auditors. So uh, today, as of today, uh, auditors of the class are also participating through Zoom. That's why you guys uh, see a lot more people in the room today uh, compared to last uh, time. This and potentially next would be the two most technical classes we'll have in the class. It was, uh, the lecture was originally created for a computer science class that I designed, um, but don't worry, it was heavily adapted to uh, get simplified and sometimes oversimplified to require zero background knowledge. Uh, the reason why we wanted to have these two lectures anyways, even if uh, they uh, may seem a little too technical for non-CS uh, 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 or technical uh, students, is because uh, there's a lot of uh, aura behind uh, Bitcoin and uh, that uh, makes it sound uh, more complex than it actually is. It's actually con conceptually pretty simple and uh, all these uh, obscure puzzles that need to be solved, all these, all these weird uh, sometimes sounding concepts are actually very straightforward if we tell you exactly what, what they are. Having said this, I wanna give you the agenda for today and, uh, and next class. We'll be talking about the following uh, five topics and potentially some advanced topics if we have time at the end. So the topics are the following. Cryptographic hashes, which is a very important cornerstone of what's needed, uh, a building block of, uh, of blockchains. They, they are possible because of this. We're going to be talking about what, what is a block, what, what then becomes a blockchain. Then we will talk about how Bitcoin puts these uh, concepts together. And, uh, and then most likely in the next lecture, uh, we are going to talk about the security of blockchain and the security of Bitcoin. Why can we have anonymous uh, um, miners or nodes as they are otherwise called um, being uh, those people who are uh, uh, processing our transactions and we still trust them. That is all possible because of those cryptographic uh, uh, properties that uh, uh, Bitcoin and blockchain is uh, is utilizing. So, so we, we, without further delay, let's start with uh, the simplest of the concepts, um, hashes. So um, a hashing function is a function, just like in math, it's a function that gets as an input an arbitrary length of data. It can be a text file, it can be a block in a blockchain. And as an output, it produces a digest of those data into a specific size. What do I mean by digest? Uh, it's something, it's a, let's say a string looking uh, thing that always has exactly the same size. So no matter how big the data is, the data could be one byte, the, the, the hash of that data is still the same size. The data could be an entire video file that is giant. The hash is still uh, the same size. So the function gets data and produces hash of those data. And an important property of this is that the same data will always result to the same hash. And uh, one very popular uh, such hash function, especially used by Bitcoin, is, is, is called SHA-256. It's 256 because the, the resulting hash has 256 bits, which if you translate it into hexadecimal digits, then you get 64 hexadecimal digits. That's why, um, uh, that's how it looks. And uh, let me show you this with a specific example. So if I click on this, it will open this uh, software, which is open source software that uh, I adapted uh, slightly for the uh, purposes of today's lecture so that it can uh, uh, con, um, emphasize the points that I, I wanted to make. And I will point a link uh, to the source code. Um, I did not write the software, just modified. So here's, uh, it's, but I like it because it's very visual. So here's an example. The, uh, if I put as data the letter A, then I'm getting a hash, this hash down here. If I change this, then the hash changes significantly. The entire hash is completely different. Even though my input is only by one, by one character different, I didn't see one character change in the hash. I saw the hash completely change. And let's go back to A to see, to see that the hash is still the same. You see the hash of A is 559. And going back to A, again, 559, no matter what I do. And the data, uh, as I said, could be uh, uh, arbitrary length, there, okay, it can be it can be very long, and the hash is still the same size. Okay, 
Now, there is the concept that certain hashes are very secure. And that would be the content of the next lecture uh, where I will explain to you why, what, why this is important and uh, how secure are they. Um, but this property is making the blockchain